definitely something to consider. And you know what? I feel like doing this makes me extra angry <laughs> at products that claim like really instantaneous yes. effects or really, really fast yes, results. Because exactly. this is a category you see a lot of people that say, results in one week. Yes. That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad you, 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 you're saying this because this is where I want to talk about my hot takes in this room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so my first one, my hot take here is also that I think acne individuals, we have very unrealistic expectations mm-hmm. on healing yeah, and like scar healing and spot fading. Mm-hmm. I think because we're so used to seeing the lesion kind of be gone in like three to four days, mm-hmm. if you're, you pop your pimples and might be even faster. And so because of that, we forget that these spots, these hi- the extra hyperpigmentation, the scarring, all that, that's when it's like, Takes you're not supposed to see time. improvement until like three to four months at least yeah, you know yeah so i would say that's one where it's like okay i think we need to like understand that we're so trained to see things so quickly in that you know um instant gratification that we forget about mm-hmm. the tail end of the healing process yeah. okay that's my first take Second take is, I think salicylic acid is super oh, overrated. Right. We haven't talked about salicylic <laughs> acid at all this whole time. Yeah, and, and it's more because I'm annoyed that every time, and I understand why they have to do it, is any acne launch is going to have sal acid as a drug in yeah. there so that they could claim acne. But it's just because of that that everyone thinks you need cell acid, and I think it's really overrated. You know what's funny you said that? Because I feel like cell acid is one that has like a cyclical revival yes. every 10 years too. Yes. And to me, don't get us wrong, it's a great way to supplement your yeah. acne routine, but it's hard to, it does its thing, right? But what it does is a little limited or more limited than you think. Yes. And sometimes people kind of blow it out of proportion mm-hmm. and treat cell acid like the mecca, the holy grail, yeah. the, yeah. And what I, find sometimes it kind of sets people up on the wrong foot is like they think sal acid is like the gateway into acne treatment yeah and you're starting to build your routine around sal acid yeah when i feel like you should already you know go ahead and start looking at adapalene or bpo Mm -hmm. and then build your sal acid around that instead right like i feel like that would be anyways sal acid man (laughs) Okay, next one that Gloria has heard me say multiple times is BPO is very underrated. (laughs) Yep, yep, I've heard this a few times. (laughs) I think it gets a bad rap because Proactive used to put that in everything. And then it's like the pummeling of it. Yeah, yeah. And so people just think it's really harsh and drying and bad for you and all these things and actually can be really helpful. And it has Mm -hmm. some really great data on tackling multiple aspects of acne. Yeah. 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 And I think this is starting to turn into another thing that needs to be on t shirt or something, which is <laughs> I don't think you need ten percent BPO. <laughs> low, nothing wrong with a low dose BPO. We're past clean and clear. Yes. We're past the rapid action ten minute and mm-hmm. be gone like ten percent BPO product. So mm-hmm. yeah. Um, okay. And then finally, this Gloria's get to hear me stand on my podium and say, <laughs> I think acne individuals are preyed upon. <laughs> And the reason why I say this is because if you look at, if you try to do a product search Mm -hmm. or you go to a brand's like, you know, and you're trying to sift through their, you know, product offering, a lot of times you'll find like an acne category, but then it has nothing to do with acne. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of it's just them like positioning maybe more. I don't know, lighter moisturizers Uh or like a gentle cleanser. And I just feel like that's not really helpful. You know, it makes you feel like, oh, I need to change my regimen to cater to my acne. I just don't necessarily know if I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think, um, I think, again, this is where like people who make claims, we get it like they're people want to hear a certain type of claim yeah. and then some brands are way too happy to yeah. cater to that, but it ends up just really misleading people and frustrating everyone. Exactly. And I think the point of me saying this is that, you know, the goal is you should, you know, if you, let's say, suddenly starting to deal with breakouts, you shouldn't feel the need to start changing out all your existing products. This is where you want the actual acne topical to start doing the work, yes. right? You want to see how skin's improving with the topical, before you start saying, all right, that's it. I need to completely remove all the oil from my skincare routine. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, just change everything and start from square one. Yeah. yeah. 